ranked number six in the nation. They are in Paul Brown Stadium this afternoon. The Queen City hosts this confrontation for the first time since 1911. It is a huge weekend in downtown Cincinnati. 500,000 expected for a lot of festivities. We get set for the Battle of Ohio. It's straight ahead from Cincinnati. Paul Brown Stadium in downtown Cincinnati, Ohio, one of America's most beautiful open-air football stadium. The NFL plays here on Sundays, but today it's college football, the Battle of Ohio. Number six, Ohio State versus Cincinnati. This condition now and even more soft. All right, Stacy. Cincinnati has won the toss, and they will defer. Jonathan Ruffin, the kickoff. Maurice Hall will bring it out. He's to the 30. Look out, 35-40 down to about the 46 yard line some very tough subject molecular genetics can you believe that well we <laughs> talked about Lydell Ross but take a look at Michael Jenkins if indeed Ohio State is going to throw the ball more than 10 times this week so it's first and 10 for the Ohio State Buckeyes on a perfect day in Cincinnati 77 degrees first play from scrimmage Ohio State offensive line always defined by the big man up front center Alex Stepanovich one of the best of the Big Ten and Shane Olivier broken ankle he also is one of the best in the Big Ten and the nation. Well, they have to stand up against the run, does this defensive line for Cincinnati, but their stone stars, number 56, Antoine Peek. And It is the draw play to the tailback. Cincinnati's linebackers not overwhelming. Willis Edwards from outside the middle needs to play well today for the Bearcats to have any form of success today against Ohio State. Well, you would figure that in the secondary, the big issue would be run support. But if indeed they get on the outside, the matchups favor Ohio State. From the shotgun, Brenzel, plenty of time across the middle, had a one-handed grab. Incomplete. Deep man is Ty Keith for the Bearcats. And it is a booming spiral that lands about five yards deep in the end zone. Justifiably, he is the star, but DeMarco McCleskey, who had 118 yards last week against West Virginia, he's going to have to put some yardage on today. From the shotgun formation, first and ten, and a quick throw to the near side. Ty Keith makes the grab at the back, and depth is a concern here. Josh Gardner, a preseason All-American, but can he handle those big men up front for Ohio State? Well, everybody up front for Ohio State is competent, but take a look at Tim Anderson. Hubba's got a brand new bag on second and five. Play action. Go to the roll. And it is complete through one set of hands. The Ohio State linebackers, some of the nation's best. Matt Wilhelm, the leading tackler and really the architect of smash mouth Big Ten football. Watch out for him today. And speaking of leading, you would have to say that Michael Doss, the strong safety, the leading tackler. Nation. And again, come to the near side. As Tedrick Hartwell makes. Here comes the blitz. Gaduli gets it away, and it is complete to DeMarco McCluskey. On first and ten from Ohio State territory at the 49-yard line. Quick throw and a quick completion. Another first down, Ty Keith. Gaduli. Her shoots his intended target. Second and ten. Gaduli wants to throw. Play action. Man out there. Catch is made. Ty Keith. And Keith is inside the five. Right outside of Atlanta. Leaping. No, sir. Good job. Second and goal from the one-yard line for the Bearcats. Option. McCleskey trying to reach into the zone touchdown DeMarco McCluskey in for six Buffin for the point after attempt he is perfect on these and this time has missed that is a shocking development he had set a school record for consecutive point after attempts and that has been shattered well, the Bearcats are out in front of Ohio State here in Cincinnati. It's the opening quarter. ...of a mental error for a coach. He just does not want to tolerate that. And here, a very, very short kickoff. Very short. Maurice Hall will take it. And he will be taken out of bounds. First and 10 from the 30-yard line for Ohio State, down 6-0. 
And there's that turf. Cincinnati history. Almost 67,000 here today. In trouble is Krenzel and he is sacked. Sacked for the loss by Antoine Peek. The Reggie White. There's a loss of nine on third and long. Krenzel in trouble again and sacked again. Jamar Enzor. The number 46 drops it. Andy Groom is the punter. His last one was of 52 yards. And this one will be returned by Ty Keith. And not much there. Keith. The Bullets are shooting blanks right now. First and 10 from the 36-yard line for the Bearcats. On the ground, running room. McCluskey. And McCluskey thrown out of bounds into Ohio State territory. First and 10 from the 18-yard line. Ty Keith is in motion. Timeout. Gadouli wants to come over. So Gino Gadouli. Here comes the blitz. Gadouli going the opposite way, and it's incomplete. The linebacker. <laughs> Second and 10 now. And a handoff. Matt Wilhelm on. Gino Gadouli. Here comes the blitz. Gadouli in trouble, and down he goes. Matt Wilhelm. Following the Bearcats' touchdown, let's see if he can redeem himself. Here's the hole. And the kick is up, and it is good. So Cincinnati has extended their lead over Ohio State's Buckeyes here in Cincinnati. Three, four yards out. Chris Gamble across the 30-yard line. All sides. Kicking team. wants to throw far side and over shoots his target Mike. you know it seems to me Reese that after his freshman year Philip Rivers kind of got forgotten in that Heisman thing I think he's a legitimate candidate I'm with you he's one of the real tough guys in third and six shotgun formation Krenzel with plenty of time and it's incomplete almost three offensive possessions and all three three and out here is Groom with the punt. He's getting a workout so far. Ty Keith will take it out as 20. Some room up the middle and sliding. He picked out at Boston College. I can't wait to get to those guys again. On first and 10, Gadule coming to the near side. It's second and four. Shotgun formation. Murray is in motion. And rolling right is Gadule trying to buy some time. And it's incomplete. Again, the shotgun formation for Gadule. Here comes the blitz. And oh, trying to set it up, and it's incomplete. Irvin, the punter from Sulphur, Kentucky. And it is a high punt. Chris Gamble is underneath it, and he'll take the football. And brought down, punishing Ohio State Buckeye team. On first and 10 from the 34, the give is to the running back. And they do go to the running game. Whoa, what a hit. Cincinnati has it. What a hit. Maurice Hall lost it. He was hit by Jason Hunt. It's in Ohio State territory. On top, 9-0 here in the first quarter. Gadouli setting. Wants to go long. One-on-one -on -one coverage, and it's incomplete. And the draw play. It's to Harwell. And Harwell cutting directions down on third and five for the Bearcats. Play action for Gadouli across the middle, and it's incomplete. Turning the right. Jonathan Ruffin, he just hit from 44. He missed the point after attempt. And this time it is going to be well short and no good. First and 10 from the 32-yard line for Ohio State. Here is the pitch. It's to Lionel Ross. Some running room pulled down to Shakinorg and Homer Todd Christensen. <laughs> All right, then. I was waiting for that. On second and three, enough for a first down for Ohio State. Let first and ten from the 46 yard line. Ross. On second and eight. Brentzel firing, and it is complete. And After the play was ruled dead. Like conduct, offense, 15 yards, third down, third and 16. Buckeye fans on their feet here at Paul Brown Stadium. 
Benson in trouble. Throwing it away, and it is intercepted. Picked off. Is he in bounds along the Cincinnati sideline? Yes. yes. First and ten for Cincinnati. Second turnover of the first quarter by Ohio State, and this time Tedrick Harwin. Here comes the blitz. Draw play smothered for a loss. Well, that is going to be the end of the first quarter. Surprise, surprise. Cincinnati Bearcats, you're looking at it right. Nine zip. Now third and 16 for the Bearcats of Cincinnati. Badouli, the quarterback, out of the shotgun. Gets it away. It is complete to the 42-yard line. To the, the end of the first quarter, saw 9 nothing. What are you talking about? Here is Chet Irvin, his second punt. It is high. It is short. Gamble is the deep man, and it takes an Ohio State bounce. Jeff? <laughs> I've seen enough AFC Raiders stuff. Here is the handoff. It is Liddell Ross. Second and 10 for Ohio State. Brentzel wants to throw. Has time. Firing, completing. The catch is made by Lydell Ross. First and ten now for Ohio State. And it is complete. As the Buckeyes. And Krenzel now, three of eight, 24 yards. He's looking at second and five. And the give is to Ross. At 45. Check at NC State. On first and ten, Ohio State on the ground. A little bit of running room for Lydell Ross. As it comes to the near side. Jenkins to the far side on second and four. Prenzel going long, one-on-one -on -one coverage, and it's incomplete. Prenzel, and it is complete, and enough for an Ohio State first down to Drew. On first and ten. And it is complete to the 21-yard line. Michael Jenkins already, that's one more than he threw all of last game. On second and three, the Cincinnati defense done. This is third and two. Play action. Brands up it. top. All by himself. Touchdown, Ohio State. Ben Hartsock, the tight end, 6'4, 265, the junior from Chillicothe, Ohio. And the Buckeyes are on the board. It's a 20-yard completion. And a point after attempt is good. Well, it's always fun to see a tight end catch a touchdown pass. And number 88, who doesn't get that many opportunities, is able to sneak in. Krenzel, it's going to do an awful lot for his confidence as well, throwing his initial touchdown pass of the game. One of the things they have to do, you're absolutely right, is they do have to play field position. And here is the kick, and it is out of bounds. Out from the 35. Kingsbury and Rivers. Oh, that's fun. And the Ohio State defense on the tackle of DeMarco McCleskey. Gets it away. It is complete. The catch is made by Ladaris Van Columbus in the state of Ohio since the 30s for Ohio State. On third and two, Maduli will keep the football and look. And he completes. Fine throw. Ladaris Van in Ohio State territory. Shotgun formation again with four receivers. Here comes the blitz. Maduli will keep it. Some running room and tuck. Second and four. there for DeMarco McCluskey. Third and one for Cincinnati. Leading 9-7 here in the second quarter. Looks like Ohio State jumped off sides. So. Off sides. Defense. Five-yard penalty. Results in a play. First down. Ohio State uh, basket. But we're assured of having red in the crowd. First and ten. Gadouli up top and incomplete. Second and ten now. Shotgun formation for Gaduli. Here comes the blitz. And the catch is made, but not much there for Ty Keith. Unless Claret comes back and goes crazy. <laughs> From the shotgun. And it's deflected. Nice. Here's the kick. It is long enough. And it is good. Oh, ye of little faith when it comes to Jonathan Ruffin. Forget it. He drills it through. 49 yarders. So two of three for Jonathan Ruffin. And the kick is short. Gamble takes it. Some running room. Look out. Gamble on his 
way, but a penalty marker at the 35-yard line. It's a 96-yard return by Chris Gamble. Holding Ohio State. These are first and 10. And Prenzel wants to throw across the middle. It's incomplete for that amazing upset in 2002. Here's Prenzel coming to the near side, and it is complete. And run out of bounds is Chris Vance. First and 10 from the 36. Prenzel, Air Ohio State. They'll keep the football. Some running room across the 45. And we'll throw the ball. We're going to throw a lot more than you think. And they are. First and 10. Prenzel wants to throw again. And this time it's complete to the tight end who makes the grab. Ben Ives. Second and seven. Football is loose. Let's see who has it. Krenzel couldn't come up with the football from under. On third and seven, the Buckeyes. Krenzel rolling, looking. And it's intercepted. Picked off. Third turnover of the half. Blue Adams. Keep into the second quarter. Here comes the blitz. Gaduli gets it away. And all by himself is Ty Keith. But he... Here comes the blitz. Gaduli gets it away. And it's complete at the 45-yard line. Ty Keith. And rolling to his left. Being chased. And it is complete. The catch is made by Ty Keith. Gaduli out of the shotgun on first and ten. Complete, but I think this one is coming back. Holding offense, 10 yards from the line of scrimmage. Replay, first down. First and 20 for Cincinnati. Play action, Gaduli across the middle and into triple coverage, almost intercepted. Draw play, it's to Richard Hall. And Hall, some running room, and he was seven this afternoon. Gaduli rolling to the left. Here comes the blitz. Gets it away, and a one-handed grab almost made by Ladaris Van. Chris Gamble is the deep man. Here is the punt, end over end, and taken by Gamble. And about the 11, and he is brought down. Eddie football matchup here at Paul Brown Stadium on first and ten for the Buckeyes some running room for Lydell Ross along the near side at 47 yards it's first and ten for Krenzel he wants to throw coming near side catch is made it's not made. it's not it's and the give is to Lydell Ross Ross with some running room as he put the Buckeyes play action for Krenzel he has time going long and over shoots his target into double coverage for punt. The deep man is Ty Keith for Cincinnati. Uh, floating punt, and Keith takes it. Trying to buy some time on the outside. And Keith still on his feet, spinning. And a great return by Ty Keith. Gaduli out of the shotgun with 25 seconds left time he'll keep the football and sliding down out of the shotgun and here comes the pressure gets it away it's incomplete Penalty. Holding. holding offense 10 yards from the line of scrimmage replay second down so they're doing the same thing that has not happened here is Gaduli with seven seconds left just heaving it up and it is knocked down but you mold it the way you want it to be all right, last one. Gaduli again setting and throwing it up. And it is incomplete, and that will be the end of the first half. A surprising first half indeed at Paul Brown Stadium. The Cincinnati fans are on their feet, appreciative of the action that they have seen from their Cincinnati Bearcats. 12-7, Cincinnati leads. Let's go to Reese Davis in our studio. But he needs to be healthy for Ohio State to be battling for a national championship. And the Buckeyes kick off, and Cincinnati will have possession of it. It is Lewis who picks up the football, and he is smothered by Ohio State. Recipe for success. First and ten now for Cincinnati. And Gaduli at quarterback. Here is the handoff to Marco McCleskey, and McCleskey in the first half. And the game straight up the middle. Nothing doing for McCleskey. Tackle. 
Kadula in trouble. Running for his life. And overshooting his target, Booker. Gets it away, and it is low, and Chris Gamble will retrieve it. In great territory. First and ten for Craig Prinzel. And the handoff is to Lydell Ross. First down and more for Ross as he lowers his shoulder. And That's a lot of handoffs and running room for the back. There's Ross. And Ross is down to the five-yard line. First and goal from the five-yard line. And penalty markers go for the tight end. Well start. Offense. Five-yard penalty. Replay. First down. Efficiency. Ross getting the ball, cutting it inside, and brought down at the five yard line. Greg Prinzel, the quarterback. And the give is to Ross, and Ross. third and goal from the five yard line for Ohio State. Shotgun formation for Prinzel. Throwing, and it, it is complete! Touchdown, Ohio State. Chris Vance making the grab. And Ohio State has taken the lead. And they probably at this point should go for two, but they have had their kickers on the field, which surprises me. Krenzel does the job that you wouldn't have anticipated Krenzel doing. And penalty markers are down. Practice right snap. False start. Ohio State. Trying to stretch it to 14 to 12. This one is good. Just kind of sneaks it in there, and Ohio State has their first lead of the ball game. It comes here in the third quarter. Well, they're able to play field position as a result of a great punt return. They're set up at the 35-yard line. They drive down, get a touchdown. At Paul Brown Stadium in Cincinnati, glad to have you along this afternoon. It is high, and it is deep, about four yards deep. Thaddeus Lewis will bring it out. And Lewis getting inside the 20. First and 10 for Cincinnati. Gadula, play action going long. Man out there. And he is short. They are indeed. Second and 10 for Cincinnati. Draw play. And Ohio State all over to Marco McCleskey. Tips third and 10 now. Gadula out of his shotgun. Here comes the pressure, gets rid of it, and incomplete at the 29-yard line. Tarvin, he has been struggling. He is the punter for Cincinnati. Gets it away. It's high, and it is short, taken by Chris Gamble. Again, excellent field position for Ohio State. Periods here over the last 48 hours, but not today. On first and 10 for Ohio State, Frenzel in trouble, and down he goes at the 48-yard line. Second and 16 for Frenzel. Here comes the blitz. Wants to throw. He has time. And it is complete to Chris Gamble. Third and 14 for the Buckeyes. Shotgun formation for Krenzel. And it is complete, and it is caught by Chris Gamble. Fans on their feet here, Paul Brown. The give is to Lydell. And Lydell Ross has enough for the first down. No. He didn't get it. He didn't get it. Short. Cincinnati has held on fourth down. What? Big defensive stand by Cincinnati. Gondula. It is complete. The catch is made. Far out of the shotgun formation. And almost intercepted. Almost. Will Smith looking at a third and six. Here comes the blitz. Gaduli gets it away. And it's caught. Enough for a first down. Play action. Gaduli with time. And a receiver. It's caught. Devin Holly making the grab. Holding. Ten yards from the line of scrimmage. Replay, first down. They're going to struggle running the ball, but guess not. Gadouli will run the ball. Boy, does he take a shot. They're going to have to win. <laughs> Second and 20 now. Gadouli across the middle. What, what a catch! Grab. First down, Ladaris Van. A spectacular one-handed grab. He's on the deep dig route. The ball is thrown behind. He extends the left hand. Wow, look at that. Oh, what a catch. Tory. Gadula complete. The catch is made by Olinger and that top of your screen. One to the bottom. 
Here comes the blitz. Gets it away. And it's George Murray who makes the catch. And the blitz. It appeared to me that Doss might have taken Borgadouli, shotgun formation again. Quick throw, and it is incomplete. Here they come. It is incomplete. Mike. Gadouli up top, man out there. The catch is made! Ladaris Van! And that inside the five to the four-yard line for Cincinnati. It's first and goal from the four. Trying to retake the lead on Ohio State here in the third quarter. And not going to do it that way. The mark second and goal from the five for the Bearcats. Play action. And touchdown! Ty Keith makes the grab from Gadouli. And just like the last play when he was able to get the ball over Will Allen. With a point after attempt. Whoa, high snap. And this kick is good. A little scary, a little dicey. Ruffin missed a point after attempt. But a great first quarter. A great catch by Joe Wolke on the hole. And again, we thought all the momentum was going Ohio State's way. Well, it just goes to show we don't know what we're talking about sometimes. <laughs> Touchdown, Bearcats. Ready to kick off. Up short. It is high and short. Sandwich. Taken by Chris Gamble. And Gamble with some running room and thrown to the turf. A mistake when they had the great field position and they threw the ball three times and didn't convert on fourth down. This is Miguel Ross and Ross running room and up for a first down. He it's his second career 100 yard plus game. On first and 10, Ross will get it again. And again, has some running room. Team Conference USA. It is complete, the catch made by Chris Gamble, and enough for a first down. The ocean for the Falcons, huh? <laughs> hey! Run! First and ten now, here's the give, and it's to Ross. Gets away from one tackler, and this time trapped, knocked it. And now head into the fourth quarter with the lead. 19-14 over number six, Ohio State. In Ohio, they are trailing. Second and 11. Krenzel will keep it. He will have enough for the first down and more. Krenzel down to the five-yard line. For Ohio State to be in great shape. First and goal from the six-yard line. Krenzel wants to throw. Rolling right into the end zone. Incomplete. Ben Hartsock. Second and goal from the six-yard line for the Buckeyes. And again, penalty marker is down. This is Lydell Ross, and Ross is wrapped up by... Sides, defense, half the distance to the goal. Replay, second down. As a result, that's why Cincinnati leads right now. Second and goal from the three, Brandon Schnitger. And Krenzel will keep the football looking to get in and stop. The Buckeyes on fourth and goal from the two. Penalty marker goes flying at the nine yard line. Now they will kick the field goal. Unbelievable. Five-yard penalty. Put down. From 24 yards out, it is up and it is good. So Ohio State has cut into the Cincinnati lead. It's now 19-17 here in the fourth quarter. Plays 57 yards. Krentz with a 29-yard run. It's the longest OSU rush today that really set up the field goal. Lewis out of the end zone. And he is smacked down. First and 10 from the 14 for Cincinnati. Four wideouts. Rolling left going up top. Catch is made! John Olinger. To look in that situation. First and 10 from the 49. Setting up the screen. Penalty marker goes flying. Ty Keith with some room down at the four. Offside, defense, penalty refused. First and 10 from the 40-yard line. Gadouli gets it away. Oh. Wide open was second and 10 for the Bearcats. Shotgun formation, Gadouli gets away from the blitz. And it is complete, first down and more. DeMarco McCluskey along the far sideline and knocked out of bounds. On first and 10 from the 13 of OSU. 
Looks like Ohio State jumped offside. And Cincinnati. Yeah, attack of it's the left tackle. Offense. Move too soon. Five yard penalty. Still first down. Boston said they break Dave Cowens. Here's Gadula. And it is intercepted in the end zone. And look who makes the interception. The interception That's is Gamble. Made by Chris Gamble. You guys will go both ways, huh? On first and 20, here is the give. It is to the running back, Lydell Ross, who changes direction. Syracuse. On second and three, here is the give. It is Ross. Penalty marker goes flying out. Holding offense. Ten yards from the line of scrimmage. Replay, second down. On second and 13, play action. Krenzel wants to throw. He has time. And where is he throwing? It's on third down conversions. Here comes the pressure. Friends are rolling. In trouble and down. Getting rid of the good field position here. Boom gets it away. Oh, boy. Low driving punt. And Keith is brought down at the top. Bearcats have the football. It's first and ten from their 34. Gaduli, good fake. Firing, completing. In Ohio State territory, Ladaris Van. First and ten. The give is to McCluskey. And McCluskey. Here comes the pressure. Oh! Ball is loose. And Ohio State has recovered the football. Buckeyes, first turnover of the day. For first and ten for the Buckeyes. Krenzel wants to throw. Out of the pocket he comes. Going up top, and it is incomplete. Started in Cincinnati territory. We've got three receivers here on the shotgun. Prenzel, it's incomplete. Good. Ohio State looking at third and ten. Prenzel. Complete. And an up for a first down. Good job. First and ten now. Prenzel again wants to throw in trouble and sack. Sacked by Zach Norton. Are you play conservative on second and 12? Second and 12, I think you run the ball. They're going to throw it, and they'll complete it. The catch is made by Michael Jenkins. Jenkins with a running room along the Ohio State side. And again, is the Lydell Ross. Ross fighting and struggling, trailing by two. Inside of six minutes. And again, is the Lydell Ross. Ross pulling his way ahead. Just three of 13. This is third and one. The give is to Ross. And he has enough for the first down. Ross. And Ross pushed back by the Cincinnati defense. Second and goal from the six. Three receivers. Frenzel. Will keep the football spinning. on top of Cincinnati. And now the 360 that gets him into the end zone. They'll go for the two-point conversion here. Krenzel wants to throw. In trouble. And down he goes. Brought down by Antoine Peak. It's the Buckeyes kicking off. And Cincinnati needing some points. Thaddeus Lewis, first and ten now from the 20-yard line. Out of the shotgun is Gadula. And it is incomplete. Really rolling. Completing. The catch is made by Ty Keith. Hot gun. Here comes the blitz. And it is complete. Beavers now. Good call, Todd. McCleskey. First down and more into Ohio State territory. Excuse me, it is first and ten. They're really rolling and keeping the football and the strategy of this football game. The draw play. It is McCleskey taking it to the outside. First and ten from the 34 of Ohio State. Here comes the blitz. Free it looked play. like the Buckeyes were free play. sides. And it is McCleskey. And McCleskey down to the 15-yard line. First and ten from the 15 for Cincinnati. Quick throw by Gaduli. Up top. And the catch is incomplete. Second and ten with 42 seconds left. 
top again. And it's incomplete. I'm sorry, quarterback drive be huge here. Gadula. And it is caught. Is it caught? No, he was juggling the football. Out to talk it over, and Gadula's got to be frustrated. That ball was right there. Just oh. a terrific throw. Murray has to come up with that, Jeff. Gadulli with time into the end zone. Deflected and intercepted. Picked off by Ohio State's Will Allen. And the Buckeyes survive. And it has been a remarkable football game here at Paul Brown Stadium in Cincinnati, Ohio. Biggest crowd to ever see a football game in this city. I feel happy to have been a part of it. And that young man with the football right now, he came of age today. I, I really believe it. He's only 14 of 29, but he made some huge plays for the Ohio State Buckeyes. They're going to need him later on. They can't afford the luxury of just running the ball, they pointed out. And there's a relieved Jim Tressel. Maurice Claret definitely needed for this Ohio State offense. There's no doubt about that. Now, We'll see if they go 7-0 and into Wisconsin, which would seem to be the toughest foe ahead in the weeks. Well, in, addi in addition to Krenzel, I have to say that the nation got a chance to see this young Gadouli, who I think was very impressive, not just in throwing the ball, but how he managed his offense out there. Great job by number eight. College game day scoreboard presented by Suzuki is coming up next.